Oh, welcome to Proud Fertility Season Screenings. I am Nathan Chan, the Managing Director of Proud Fertility Egg Donation and Surrogacy Agency in Canada. So today, in our segment, we are going to be interviewing this lovely gen a woman, <laughs> gentlewoman, gentlewoman, lovely woman. Tell us a little bit about yourself and who are you? So I am a proud surrogate, currently 37 weeks pregnant with my first surrogate baby. 37 weeks, and who are you carrying this baby for? Is it, and can you tell us if it is a, um, a boy or a girl? So it's a little boy, he's super active, constantly doing backflips, and uh, my intended parents is a uh, gay gentleman. Gay gentleman, yeah. perfect. And um, how has the pregnancy been? Is it? It's been really good, yeah, it's been, Really great, and definitely like ready to see my feet again. So, but it's been great up until. Okay, um, you said that you became a surrogate for what reason? What led you to this? <laughs> so after seeing friends and family struggle with infertility and miscarriages, and then having a gay brother who couldn't conceive naturally, it was something that weighed heavily on my heart to become a surrogate. Um, I didn't really know if the timing was right for my family. I do have four children and a husband, so I wasn't sure. So I did three egg donations. Three egg donations? Yes. And after those egg donations, as rewarding as it was, I still really, really wanted to carry a child for another person. So I went to surrogacy. Perfect. Winding it back. You did egg donations, but the egg is not connected no. to this baby that you are giving no. as a gift. This baby has no genetic relation to myself, no. Okay, perfect. Okay, so everything's been pretty smooth, and um, you said that is this your first, this is your first Soro baby. Yes. But how many attempts did you have to do in order to result into this baby now? Yeah, so this was actually embryo transfer number four. Wow. Yeah. Fourth time is always a charm, and I bet you yeah. your intended parents and you were really excited after four tries that you are here pregnant, right? Yeah. So. so I actually had a different set of intended parents for my first two transfers. Um, unfortunately, those did not work, but I still really, really wanted to continue on my surrogacy journey, so I did find a different set of intended parents. So you did two embryo transfers, and when you say it didn't work, it's a failure, what does that mean, actually? It means that the embryo was put in my uterus, and then I had a blood work to confirm the beta HCG, and unfortunately it was negative, which means there was no pregnancy. Okay, and just for our viewers to know, it's not like this proud surrogate just went to the industrial park <laughs> um, and, and get this embryo in. She was taking, you were taking, yeah over three weeks of hormonal stimulations to kind of get this body thinking you're supposed to be pregnant and then an embryo was put in and then another two more weeks of medications. Very, you were loaded up on these drugs. Yeah. And so to have those failures was really discouraging. Yeah. Discouraging. Yeah. And so you had two failures yes. and then you went on to another set of intended parents and so you said fourth time, so let me do the math. So first of all, you had another transfer with the current. I did, and that one was really, really tough because I was so positive that once I went to different intended parents that it would work on the first try because my own pregnancies with my biological children were so easy. But the reality is like the science is not perfect with surrogacy. It's about 50% um, chance of getting pregnant, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so. But if you keep Trying. If you keep trying, I always say, if you keep flipping a coin, eventually you'll get the results you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great analogy. I guess for me, I would say about lottery. Yeah. So if you buy, if you don't buy a ticket, you're not going to win the lottery. Exactly. Right? Yeah. But I guess in your chance, it's just really flipping a coin. Yeah. And so you did two transfers for for one set of intended parents, another set of intended parents, one more try. Yes. Oh, all these transfer failures. Yeah. They must have been just gutting. Yeah, it was pretty discouraging, but I knew that this is something I really, really wanted, so I just kept going. I knew eventually it was going to work. Perfect. And here you are with a 37 week year. The baby's going to come any minute. Yeah. Hold on. Hopefully Hold on. not two right more now. Minutes. Yeah. Hold two more minutes and you can come out if you'd like. Um, and so, do you have a funny story that you can share with us or anything? Do people come up to you and just kind of like... Yeah. 
So Congratulate you at least. Yeah, when you're this big, like, it's very noticeable. How big? You see? Like, this big. Like, gigantic. <laughs> So people come up all the time and congratulate my husband and I and he thinks it's so funny to say, oh, it's not mine. So I then have to like continue with the story and be like, it's not mine either. I'm a surrogate and people are always praising me. But the truth is like, <laughs> you're a saint. You yeah, are. You are I'm saint. not though. I'm just a regular person who wanted to do something kind and it's been a really rewarding experience and a little bit selfish as well because, you know. What? <laughs> what? Selfish? First of all, I'm an intended parent. I'm a dad because of three different surrogates that brought three children Earthside to me. So for me to hear that you feel you're being selfish to be a surrogate, please elaborate. Yeah, so it um, has been really empowering to be able to carry a child and give the gift of family to somebody else. And for my own children as well to witness that and know that families come in all shapes and sizes and they can get here every way and that sense of community through other surrogates and my friends and family like supporting me and my husband throughout this journey, it's been really, really wonderful. So yeah, I feel like it's a little bit selfish to know that like, I'm just a mom and- uh, Just a mom? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, you're an amazing mom, but I think it's amazing that your ch children, and you have a daughter, yeah. see her mommy do something so big yeah. to, uh, that is, that's gonna be impacting, not just changing lives for, for one gentleman, but also his parents, because they're gonna become grandparents yeah. now, and that really effect, actually, really. Yeah. Uh, what are some advice, or actually words of encouragement to women who are considering being a surrogate, watching the segment, or surrogates who are um, on their journey right now? Well, from my own experience, if you are considering surrogacy, I don't think that that is gonna go away. Um, it's, it didn't for me, I, it was something that I really, really wanted, and it weighed heavy on my heart, and I'm so grateful that I did it, but just know that even if you have failed transfers, don't give up hope, and same with intended parents, like your perfect surrogate will come along, and even with failed transfers, like it can happen, you know? So don't lose hope, keep, keep going, trying. yeah, keep trying. And you really are a testament and an example of someone who will persevere and, and, and resiliency at its finest, really. So without further ado, I think I will not give up on asking for one more belly bump before we okay. sign off. <laughs> so season terrific greetings to everybody and let's belly bump. Whoa, boom. <laughs> uh, we're signing off. This is Nathan Chan from Proud Fertility with a Proud Surrogate. Um, Proud Fertility is at Intonation and Surrogacy in Canada. Season's greetings. Happy holidays, everybody.